All of our businesses depend on clients returning back over and over again. And if you value your customer and want to engage them, WGU Academy is a fantastic example of how to do exactly that. And today I'm gonna to break down this box right here. This is a simple box. So the process team designed and manufactured this. And I'm gonna show you guys how it scaled up and multiplied WGU as you use Academy reoccurring subscribers, like their students. So they're a school, but they're like you, they're like a business as well that relies on people returning and being part of that brand, okay? So let's break this case study down and, sh and show you guys how something like this, something simple like this, how it can really help your brand in a number of different ways. And this is what we call a customer success kit. And it honestly may be that missing link that your brand is needing to communicate your message more effectively and more profitably. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on what it takes to manufacture, engineer, and build one of these. And if you aren't, you aren't using a kit like this as a customer success package like they are, it may be effectively used as like an employee starter kit, a VIP package, an influencer package, or just a really good cost-effective tool that can act as a, a salesperson for your brand. So when we're designing one of these, the first thing we do is go back we, we kind of like understand a budget and then we back into it. So we've designed packages for as little as $2 and as high as $25,000. Yeah, like you heard that right, 25 grand. I'll go into that into another video, so make sure you're subscribed. But this is a more practical approach that you can actually apply to your brand. So for this case study, we're gonna use this customer success package, which can be produced all in all for uh, about $4. So at its core, it's really a brand present, but it's also one of those things that our design team engineered for an unboxing experience uh, and an unboxing message. So when you're thinking about doing your own kit, like the core components that you need to understand and need to include in this are five key elements. And they include number one, branded communication. So we wanna showcase the mission vision values of your brand. So as I open this box up, um, I have this sheet. I'm gonna do a ribbon pull here on the outside of the box. And I've got this sheet that communicates that mission, vision, values, right? So it's showtime, a clear sign of success, earning your degree is a big deal, go ahead, brag a little. Okay, so I've got another message that, that kind of gives us a hint of what's inside here. Um, the second component you're gonna wanna do with your kit is to include an element of display. And is, in this case, we've got this acrylic award, right? So this, it could be cementing an accomplishment of your customer or like a milestone of your customer, but this is an accomplishment and a recognition of achievement and should be displayed, whether it's like a simple bumper sticker or an acrylic award like we have here, okay? So this is front and center. This is stuck inside our EVA foam. The next component you'll want to include with one of these kits is a utility and a functional tool which your audience is actually gonna value and put use to. So in this case, there's a power bank for your phone uh, that's just more than a power bank that you that you just purchased at a random grocery store. This is, a, a, you know, it carries a badge of honor uh, of like team loyalty, uh, brand loyalty for your customer or for your employee, okay? And next you'll want to include ancillary items like stickers, decals, tickets to a game, credits, or in this case, they've got these like really cool little referral cards. And finally, let's not forget about the unboxing and that packaging experience. A well-designed, branded, and thoughtful wrapped up gift it just feels much more special than receiving a present um, or like a simple bag with some swag in it, right? So make sure your design team is thinking and thoughtfully engineering this through correctly like we did here for WGU. Now that we're through the contents, I'll talk about how we source, manage, and manufacture one of these kits. So achieving both the design and manufacturing goals for this client, we activated a total of three manufacturing factories and it also took four of our process department teams to execute this kit in full. So we've got an acrylic factory, packaging facility, and finally a assembly factory to put all of this together. And then the different process teams that were activated were our USA design team working with client one-on-one, -on -one, sourcing, pricing, along with exploring a multitude of ideas and products before we finally landed on this concept. Our Process Asia prototyping team um, is gonna do sourcing, pricing, testing, and managing everything, including the manufacturing agreements with the factories. Uh, the Process Asia ground team is physically inspecting the factories, the facility qualifications, scheduling, raw materials, and finished product quality control and testing. And last, our Process logistics team. 
um, and our fulfillment teams, they're gonna carry the project forward. So making sure it gets landed in the client's hands on time. So for a simple component box, like with a few parts in here, just like this one, it kind of sounds like a lot of moving parts, right? A lot of factories and teams. Uh, we actually did do a larger kit for them, which I won't go into detail today, but it served a similar purpose. So while this kit is using paper to communicate messaging, some of our other design kits include acrylic messaging and more. It's just about finding what a return customer is worth to you, like an employee retention is worth to you, and reverse engineering that kit to assist in that purpose. The thing I love about this kind of concept is like the numbers don't lie. Uh, does it return uh, subscribers, employees, activations at a certain percentage or, or doesn't it? And this particular campaign has been very, very successful. Now, if you wanted to build something like this, what would a box like this cost you? So all in, we're looking at all the components. This would be about $4 to produce. A power bank, uh, $1 to $2, depending on the grade you're gonna go for. Vinyl decals, 10 cents. Acrylic awards can range from one to even more, depending on the complexity and the size. Uh, the shipping box, uh, a corrugated box like this, about 74 cents, and then the packaging stickers can be up to a dollar. So in conclusion, whether you have employees or you want to take care of customers to gift or award, we all rely on customers or employees to come back over and over again. And a kit like this can help you brag a little if you want to, share a little. It'll help you get adoption among employees and customers, and it just strengthens others into becoming more a part of our brands, our mission, vision, and values, and our story. So as you all know, you can find a bunch of other great videos on manufacturing, packaging, and product by subscribing. And if you need assistance in pulling something like this off, give us a call. We have offices in Los Angeles, Salt Lake City, and Asia. My name is Paul, we are Processed, and we will see you guys on the next one.